In my blog, I talked about making the design for my Crotale library, and I used Photoshop, but since then, I've actually found a really amazing website called Canva. Canva is like Photoshop, but free, and it's awesome. They have great templates, great styles. So the amazing thing is that you can actually use custom dimensions, and that's what we're going to do for our sample library background. I've already determined the perfect dimensions according to the size that we've already coded for the library, and that's 800 by 341 pixels. All right, Canva is working its magic. It gave us a canvas the exact size that we need for our contact library. You can see it's that rectangle shape. So Canva is great. Fool around in it a little bit. What we are going to do is we're going to add some text. We're going to add a subheading. And Canva's great, it lines it all up. And then we are going to, let's see what we got here. They have great templates. I'm gonna add something a little fancy. How about adding this script? Yeah, that looks cool. I'm gonna just resize everything and line it all up right here. So since Matt was so awesome in giving me the samples for this library, I'm gonna shout him out and I'm gonna make sure I do not misspell his name. So I'm gonna copy it straight from his Facebook profile and it's in there. Just gotta change the text. All right, that's already looking really great. It's a great shout out to Matt. Change a little bit of the alignment here. So in the heading, I'm gonna call this Men's Choir. In the subheading, I'm gonna add a description of what the samples are. Since they were all long notes, I'm gonna put Legato Holds. I'm not completely sold on this, but that's kind of close enough for now. Let's fix a few things spacing wise. All right, Ooh, and this needs to be lined up right there. Great, it's looking good so far, but now we need a background image that's going to dazzle everyone. So let's go to one of my favorite websites, unsplash.com. Unsplash is an amazing place to find free high quality photos that are available to use anywhere. There is no copyright. There is no restriction on what you can do with these photos. It's amazing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to search choir. All right, and we have some great options already. I'm not sure why this is here. I want to give the illusion of the massive hall that is gonna sound like when we turn on that reverb plugin. So in Unsplash, you can zoom in to take a closer look. Okay, I don't think that's one I want because there's a band in there. There are no people in this image. I think I want people. Hey, this one's really great. Choir book. Hey, I love this. Okay, we're gonna use this image here. Click the download free button and crediting isn't required, but if you do want to credit the photographer, you can do that in Canva as well. So I'm gonna navigate over into Uploads, and I'm gonna click the Upload Your Own Image button, and I'm gonna select the image that I just downloaded from Unsplash. There it is uploading right there. And once that's finished, all I have to do is just drag it over into my canvas. Now it's covering up my text, don't worry about that. I'm gonna drag it over so it fills the entire canvas, moving it up so it's in the perfect spot. And now because I do want to see my words, I'm gonna click the Arrange button and I'm gonna send it back, back, back. Okay, 
Now it's a little hard to read, so one last thing I'm going to do. I'm going to create a semi-transparent box under these words here so that they pop out and they're easy to read. To do that, I'm going to go over into Elements, I'm going to go into Shapes, and I'm going to grab a square. I'm just going to drag it right in. That looks good there. I'm going to change the color of the square by clicking the color box here, changing it to white. And right next to your range, there is the transparency icon. I'm going to click that and I'm going to reduce the transparency to 50%. But it is still in front of the text. So I'm going to click Arrange. I'm going to send it to back a few times. And there we go. Last thing I have to do is just adjust this. And that looks amazing. All right. We are nearly done here. All we have to do is download this. So I'm going to click the download button. PNG is just fine. I'm going to click download and Canva is going to work its magic once again. I'm going to name this choir sample library. Hit save. And now we're going to navigate back to contact to add in our artwork. The way that you do that is by clicking the wrench one more time to access the settings. Then click instrument options. This is going to bring a pop out window. On the first page, you don't have to click any tabs or anything. There is an instrument wallpaper upload. In the first tab, you don't have to click anything here. There you can see instrument wallpaper and we're going to click right here to upload it. There's our choir sample library wallpaper and it's in. I'm going to click close. I'm going to hit the wrench one more time to go back and there you have it. Our wallpaper is in. Now there are a couple of tweaks I want to make now that I see it in the actual library. One of them being, I don't want this to overlap with the knob. I think I'm going to move everything over a little bit so that it all fits nicely. I might even move down the title. So going back into Canva, I'm going to make those changes really quick. It's really easy to do. I'm highlighting everything by clicking and holding shift. And I'm moving everything over. I want to move this back a bit. I'm going to take a quick look to make sure there's not any other changes I want to make. I think I will move down the photo just a tad because it seems to be overlapping a bit. That's as easy as just clicking and dragging. And then lastly, I think the recorded by is a little small, so I'm going to click here and I'm just going to highlight and increase the size of this. Eight should be good. No, that's too big. Let's go six. No bold for this font. That would have been the perfect thing to do. That's okay. It's looking really good. In Canva, I'm going to hit download one more time. And I'm going to name it the same thing, except I'm going to add a one at the end so that I don't get confused. Going back to contact, again, it's the wrench icon, instrument options, instrument wallpaper. I'm going to click here. I'm going to click my new file, click open. It should be in there. I'm going to close this window, hit the wrench icon again to go back. And there it is. Ooh, nearly perfect. I just want to move this over one more time. I'm going to pause the video and make that change and I'll see you on the other side. All right, I'm saving out the wallpaper. I'm going to put a two at the end so I don't get mixed up which one's which. And I'm going to add it right back into the library once more. Looks amazing. Everything looks clean. Everything is easy to read. Shout out to Matt for the samples. Everything looks amazing. There's only one step left. 
Saving the Library. All right, guys, thank you so much for sticking around through this video. That was an excerpt from my course, How to Create a Contact Library from Scratch. And I just wanna to talk to you a little bit more about the course. It's a really great course where I take you step by step through the process of creating a contact library in real time. Uh, I go through everything. I go through the coding of the library, how I organize my files, uh, even how to save a library into a single file so it's easier to share or sell. That's actually a harder thing to do if you're not really familiar with the contact platform. And I, I show you everything that I've ever learned about creating contact libraries. And so like you just saw in this video, I really go through it for you and I provide everything, even the code to create your libraries. I just give it to you in this course. So below I have a sign up form and all that is is just to get notified for when the course is released. So if you're interested in just learning about the course and knowing when it comes out, go ahead and fill out the form below and I'll just notify you when the time has come and the course is out. All I'll do is just send you an email letting you know about that. And once again, thank you so much for watching. If this video was helpful to you, just leave a comment and let me know. And then of course, like and subscribe. That really helps my channel. And thanks again. I'll see you in a future video.